guys, this is Mr. Royal recording my first ever video log to uh, explain a topic that a lot of students tend to struggle with, and that is multiplying fractions. Um, I know a lot of times students understand how to do the process of multiplying fractions. They say, well, you multiply the numerator by the numerator, the denominator by the denominator, and there you have it. But a lot of times, I don't feel like they really understand why what they're doing actually works and what they're actually doing when they're multiplying the numerators and the denominators. So in order to show this, I am going to use um, a method called the brownie pan method. So of course I've baked a beautiful batch of brownies. However, you'll notice that it is not a full batch. So we are going to um, use these brownies in order to hopefully better understand how to multiply fractions and what you're actually doing when you multiply fractions. So this is the problem we're going to be looking at today and using the brownie pan method to solve. It says James wants to buy one-fourth of the brownie pan that is two-thirds full. Because remember we only, had, we only started off with two-thirds of the brownie pan. What fraction of the original full brownie pan will he buy? So if he buys one-fourth of what's left what fraction of the original entire pan would he have bought? That's what we're trying to figure out. So remember, in this problem, what we've been asked to figure out is we've been told that I have two-thirds of a pan of brownies and James wants to buy a fourth of what I have left. And we want to figure out what fraction of the entire full pan of brownies did he end up buying. So in order to figure this out, um, again what you can see is I have thirds here. Here's one third, two thirds, and then the third third is is missing because that has been eaten already. So really I have two thirds and I want to figure out what one fourth of two thirds is. And anyone, anytime that you want to find a fraction of a number, really what you're doing is you're going to be multiplying the two fractions together. So if I wanted to figure out what a fourth of what I had left was, I could cut this into fourths. And an easy way to do that is to first cut it in half. And I'm going to do my best here to make them equal halves. And then those halves I can cut in half again, which then makes fourths. So now, again, I started with two-thirds, and now I've cut it into fourths the other way because I want to figure out what one-fourth of two-thirds is. So if we just look at one-fourth of the brownies that are left, that would be looking at one of these sections. So this would be one-fourth, this would be another fourth, another fourth, and the final fourth. So a total of four-fourths equaling the total amount of brownies that I had. So with this fourth, now, how many pieces would James get if he bought one-fourth of the, the brownie that was remaining? And, and he would end up buying two pieces. So two would be the numerator in your answer, because he's buying two of the pieces, and he's buying two out of a total of how many pieces would have made up this entire pan of brownies. Because again, we want to figure out what fraction of the original pan of brownies did he buy. So he bought two pieces out of a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because we do have to account for the missing pieces of brownie. So there would have been a total of 12 pieces of brownie of the same size if we were to have a full pan of brownies, and he would have bought two of those because that's one-fourth of what's remaining because two is one-fourth of eight. So what we've determined here is that one-fourth of two-thirds is one-two out of twelve, or two-twelfths which you could then simplify 
to be one sixth. So what you could say is that one fourth times two thirds equals two twelfths, which then simplifies to one sixth. So this is just kind of a visual, more hands on approach that might help you better understand what you're actually doing and how to multiply fractions together. So I'm guessing when you do math, you typically don't have a pan of brownies in front of you. So I just wanted to show how you can use the brownie pan method um, in class or on homework when you don't have the brownies with you. So again, what we stated was the fact that when you want to find one-fourth of two-thirds, really what you're doing is you're doing the multiplication problem of one-fourth times two-thirds. So I've started off with just a drawing of a um, it's my imaginary brownie pan and if we break this into thirds to start with as best we can they don't need to be perfect so if those are my thirds and I'm just gonna shade in the the sections that still have brownies remaining in them because remember we said that one-third of the of the brownie pan had already been eaten before James went to buy his fourth so here are my two-thirds of brownies. This is the empty section of the brownie pan. Now if I want to figure out what one-fourth of the original brownie pan is in terms of how many pieces he would have, again now I'm going to break it into fourths this way, the opposite way that you broke it into thirds. So in this case it will be horizontally. So now I'm going to shade this section that represents a fourth of the brownie pan a different color. Or you can also, if you don't have different colors, you can just do, um, you know, the original two-thirds drawing up and down, and then you can draw the fourth going side to side. And now what I'm looking for, the way that I'm going to find my answer of what is one-fourth of two-thirds, is to look at the sections that are shaded in both colors, so are shaded in both black and green, looking for the overlap. So in this case, you can see this section has both black and green shading and this section also has black and green shading so I have a total of two sections that are shaded in both black and green out of a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so out of a total of 12 sections because remember that denominator is always telling you how many pieces make up the whole and in this case the two represents how many pieces James bought so he bought two twelfths of the original brownie. We could simplify by dividing both the numerator and denominator by two, which would give us one sixth. So James bought one sixth of the original brownie based on the fact that he bought one fourth of what what was left. So that is just a you know a way that you can multiply fractions a little bit more hands on, a little bit more visual, as opposed to just memorizing the algorithm for multiplying numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. Well guys, I hope that was at least a little bit helpful um, and maybe helps you better understand what you're doing when you are actually multiplying fractions. I um, hope you enjoyed it and I got some brownie eating to do so I'll see you next time.